Okay, boys, this is Spiderbite coming at you, and you know what? We're gonna do headquarters! Yeah! Anyways, I never fucking play headquarters, so you know what? I got stuck in a match. Some guy invited me, and he went into headquarters, and I was gonna leave, but I said, what the fuck? So I'm gonna play headquarters, and I've never played headquarters on World at War. And funny thing is, it's on Knee Deep. And I have hardly, at this point in time, this is from like a while ago, a month or two ago. About a month ago, and I had hardly ever played this map. So I'm just looking at my radar and going in and kicking some shit. Kicking some ass when I can. I mean, I do die a lot, but what the hell. You gotta go in, you gotta capture the headquarters. The guy who invited me ends up leaving, which kind of sucked. But anyways, I stuck it out. Um, you just, just keep at it. I mean, headquarters, I really don't like 6-on-6. Six six. Like, I played Team Tactical 3-on-3, three and, three and it's so much better. I mean, 6-on-6 six six is just insane. And I don't have the right, really the right class for it either. I wouldn't use the Bomb Squad class on this. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, I'd almost not even use Extreme Conditioning as well. I'd look for some other perks. Uh, perk 1, maybe a Double Frag, because you got to you got to toss some grenades in these spots here. Um, perk 3, I can't remember some of the other perks, I just, <laughs> the only perk 3 I ever use is extreme conditioning, so I don't even know what the hell the other perk 3s are, but I definitely pick something else, uh, because you don't really need to get to too many places really that quickly, and t unless, you know, you're going between, um, you know, from one headquarters to the next, but even then, uh, you know, I think it's a somewhat of a wasted perk on this type of uh, game type. So, again, you just gotta rush in, and, and I get smoked, like I said, I get smoked quite a bit, but just keep a, keep an eye on your radar, you know where the, um, the headquarters is, obviously, and a lot, oftentimes, like, you'll have, uh, recon for a lot of the match, just because you do tend to get a lot of, uh, kills in a row. So we're destroying the HQ, HQ and, control. you know, when you're playing this and you, and you have a few other guys, and you're, uh, you're taking the headquarters back from the enemy, you want to have your guys fan out, especially when you know, like, you always want to check your, um, the game stats and see who's dead. And if they're all dead in the enemy team, like, it's more than enough to have two or three, even three guys recapturing the headquarters. The other three should be sp uh, spreading out, and if you play it often enough, you know where the headquarters are going to, are going to, uh, be approximately. So you can have two guys go towards uh, one part of the map where you know it's probably going to be, <coughs> excuse me, and then two uh, two guys go to another part of the map. We used to do this all the time in Team Tactical um, on uh, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. So we play uh, headquarters and one guy would hang back while the other two ran out to, uh, to capture the next headquarters. And if you didn't do that, I don't know how if it's more balanced on World at War, but on Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, it was uh, it kind of sucked. Like the first team to get the headquarters had a huge advantage because oftentimes the headquarters would spawn right where they would spawn. You know, after you after you took back the headquarters, they'd spawn almost next to the to the next headquarters, and we'd be on the other side of the map. And that would happen. Quite a, quite a bit in uh, Modern Warfare. But here, this isn't too bad. I think we actually managed to, to capture this one. We're losing pretty badly right now. Unfortunately. But I think I, I do a half decent job of defending this one as well. They yeah, jump out. They got artillery. And uh, we got a recon. So we're going to just try and defend the spot. You don't want to try not to go right into the headquarters and defend it from there. You know, Bettys are sort of useful, but again, I'd, I'd probably be more apt to use uh, dual grenade, just because uh, guys tend to throw grenades in the headquarters when they're trying to recapture whatever, so Bettys aren't that useful, I don't think. Double headshot, nice. It's actually a decent spot for defending here. The artillery. And unfortunately, yeah, I should have uh, sort of got out of the way. 
before I uh, called in the artillery. Um, one other thing amongst many, we you can, uh, and I called that, and again, that was, that was pretty bad. I called it in, and I didn't even know where the next headquarters was going to be. I should have waited and just uh, dropped it right on this position. I think I didn't quite get it. Um, one thing about headquarters, you can spawn right away. Like, you don't have to wait and sit for the kill cam. You spawn right away. Um, one other thing that I may not even... Probably even change is uh, get rid of the silencer and go with the dual uh, dual magazine or the drum on the MP40. Because I don't think a silencer is that necessary in this type of game. Again, you're gonna nine times or eight times out of ten, you're gonna be at the headquarters anyway. So the fact that they can see it because of a blip on the radar, I don't think is that uh, you know, is that big of a deal. You just gotta keep active, uh, keep running towards the, uh, you know, get in, get in there. Don't afraid, don't be afraid to die. Like I said, I die lots in this, but you know what? You gotta get in there. You gotta, you gotta capture the headquarters. You gotta take it back, recapture it. Uh, you gotta take chances, right? So it's not like search and destroy. You can hang back a little bit. You listen. No, man, this is running good. And, you know, I'm at the top of the top of the list here, score-wise, kill-wise, maybe even death-wise, who knows, I didn't notice there. So they're all in here, and again, you know, I'm, I'm less, probably less familiar than most of these players with this map. And we get some up there, the guy was that uh, prone. Uh, the only time, you know, your extreme condition comes in handy is when you do spawn a fair distance away from the, uh, from the headquarters. So the enemy got it again. Actually, it's... it's... Actually, we got it. Yeah, enemy the enemy got it. Plane. So we're actually pretty close in the score. We were losing, like, 80 nothing, and we actually came back a good... You know, came back a, a fair bit. It's like I was, uh, protecting the headquarters there. Visit our website at www.nextgentactics.com to find all of our video playlists, written game guides, gaming news, trailers, and more, all for free.